Two women are accused of stealing from a high school band booster organization, and so much money was taken, the kids were not able to go on a trip that they had planned. Pam Serrano is live tonight to explain how police caught on to this scheme. Pam. Yeah, these students and these families worked hard raising money for their high school marching band and chorus, and they couldn't understand why over a two year period of time as they raised money at candy sales, hoagie sales, and also calendar sales and bingo, why they didn't have enough money to do what they needed. Disappointed kids involved in the Carmichael's area high school marching band and chorus couldn't understand why they didn't have enough money to attend a trip to Kalahari Resort in Ohio. The students, along with 75 families, had worked hard fundraising for the trip, raising money with hoagie sales, candy sales, bingo, and calendar sales, but there still wasn't enough money to attend what was supposed to be the trip of a lifetime. It's very disappointing. Um... You trust people with things and you expect them to do the right thing. Melanie Koss and Chastity Ellsworth are accused of stealing an estimated $7,000 each from the band and chorus boosters. They served as president and treasurer of the organization. Police say the money was taken from 2016 to 2018. We tried to give the kids in our community something that they usually cannot do um, some of our kids have never been outside of Greene County. Court paperwork indicates one woman would accept checks in undocumented cash, while another would then hand the funds over to the other, but the money wasn't always deposited. Court documents indicate unpaid invoices from Saris Candy, as well as West Virginia Wellesleyan University, where the students had attended band camp. By the time they were arraigned this week, the women had taken an estimated $14,000. And maybe if they were having a hardship, as a small community, we would have helped them any way we could have. Now, the Boosters is its own entity, but all of the students attend the Carmichael's area school district. Now, the Boosters organization says they just want the two women accused to give the money back to the students. Reporting live tonight, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.